I'm going to show you guys how to plug up a hole in a uh, tire where there was a screw or a nail in it. I already did this one. You can see the plug's already in it right there. Um, what you do is you, you pull, the, pull the nail or screw out, whichever one it is. This, uh, this one had this screw in there. It was uh, all the way in there. And it was pretty easy to get it out of there because you can see it's a Phillips. And all you do is just get a Phillips screwdriver and just screw it back out like a regular screw. If it was a nail, you would probably have to use like some side cutters or some pliers or something to get it out of there. But anyways, once you get the screw out of there, you get this, this part right here, this tool. And then you, you, you push it down into the hole. And you see how there's these rough edges on here? You push it down in there and you pull it back and forth while it's in there. Uh, so that way you can scratch up the sides of the, the rubber. That way once you get your plug in there, it has something to bite into. So here's the plugs right here. This one's got a, it was a five pack. You can see I can already use, I used two of them already. One of them was previously used over here on this side. You see that hole with that plug right there, kind of extra little plastic or black stuff there. That's, uh, there was a hole there before. That was like about six months ago and it's still good. If you do them right, they, they last a long time. Um, yeah, and then you get this little strip out right here, one of these strips, and then you squeeze it in between this, uh, this other tool here. You see how it's got this, uh, separation right there? You just squeeze it in between there evenly, and, uh, halfway out on this end and halfway out on the other end. And then you basically just, you, you fold it up, you fold it up to this way, up, up against, uh, this, uh, metal rod right here. And then uh, after you've done uh, grinded it up with this and made the hole a little bit bigger, scratch the insides of the rubber out, you, uh, you pull that out and then you, you push this down into the hole with this, with that, uh, that plug right there. And you, you pretty much get it down in there to, about, you, to where you got about maybe a half inch sticking out, which is a little bit like that. But you don't want to leave too much of it. You don't want to leave too much of it because what happens is when you go driving, um, it might snag up on something and get yanked right back out of there. So what you want to do is you want to trim a little bit of the, the top of it off so that way it ends up like this. So when you go driving, it'll end up getting flat and flush. This one's kind of good because it's in a crack right here, so it's protected in there. This one's kind of like out on the surface. So I don't want to leave too much of this excess stuff, you know, sticking out. Let me go on the side so that way you can see what's going on. See how there's so much of it and it's like it's real sticky. So what I want to do is I want to cut like maybe about half of what you see off of there and leave just a little bit so when I drive it gets flush and gets stuck onto the tire. And that's how you uh, fix, a, fix a hole in the tire. So my recommendation is to have one of these, have one of these tools with you, these two, two uh, pieces right here and get you like a, uh, some of these plugs right here and just kind of keep it in your trunk You never know where you're gonna be and how far you're gonna be somewhere You don't want to wait for AAA or any any tow truck to come out or somebody to help you uh, plug a tire When you can plug it up yourself and make sure you got some kind of small compressor in your trunk too So you can fill up the tire back up one once you plug up the hole All right, you guys take care